Hopkinton Hillers freshman football took on Holliston this past Friday. It was a good defensive battle. Holliston found the end zone in the first quarter. Sure going to line it up once again out of the gun. Sahagian in the backfield. Motion from right to left. Takes the snap. Sahagian up the middle. Here he goes. Breaking tackles. Cuts to the near side. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Holliston Panthers. A 25-yard touchdown run by the freshman, Kevin Sahagian. The Holliston touchdown would be the only score in the game as both teams continuously made big stops and put up a great defensive effort to end the game in a 6-0 final. Hiller's varsity also played Holliston on the road the following day and lost a close game 37-27. You can view the varsity game through our friends at HCAT Television Holliston Community Access. The JV team hosted Holliston this past Monday, and the game started off with a bang. As it's going to be a low kickoff that'll sail along the ground. Seamus Murphy will return it, and he's going to have a very good return. There he goes, across midfield to the 20, the 10, and right into the end zone. How about that? An opening kickoff return for a touchdown for the Hopkinton Hillers, and just like that, we have a 6 to nothing game. A huge opening kickoff return from Seamus Murphy puts the Hillers up 6 to nothing, and that's how the score stayed following the conversion attempt. Holliston with the ball at their own 20 in the second quarter, and this happens. 30. Kylie out of the gun. Takes the snap. Looks up field under pressure, and he's brought down. Another Hiller sack. Teaming up was Riley Finnegan and Devin Canty to bring down Kylie to reserve clock to maybe get another opportunity at another drive. And it, it was that last time because it is fourth down here. Snap and it is going to go over the head of the punter into the end zone. And that is going to be a safety. A safety puts the Hillers up eight to nothing. In the third quarter, both teams went back and forth with some great defensive stops. The game stayed an eight to nothing lead in favor of the Hillers heading into the fourth. In the fourth quarter, Holliston found the end zone. Marked at the Hillers three yard line. Kylie gonna line it up out of the pistol. Olsen in the backfield, he'll fake the handoff, throws to his left, has a wide open target, and it's hauled in for a touchdown. What a great play there by Holliston, some good trickery by Kylie. A three-yard reception to Holliston's Colin Kerr from quarterback TJ Kylie makes it an 8-6 to six game. Holliston attempted a two-point conversion to tie the game. Kylie line it up out of the gun, takes the snap. He'll hand it off, a run up the middle, pushing his way forward is Harding, but he is going to be stopped short. The conversion was no good. Towards the end of the fourth quarter, however, Holliston driving at their own 48. But also on their last drive, was able to find the end zone. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going. Kylie out of the gun. He'll hand it off. And no, he fakes it. Play action. Throws up the middle, and it's intercepted. Picking it off is Braden Hicks. It went off the hands of his target, and Hicks is there to collect. And he will take it into Holliston territory all the way to the 40. Hopkinton's Braden Hicks with the interception. But Holliston would get the ball back. Lisher out of the pistol, Leland in the backfield, play action, rolls to his left, throws up field, and it's intercepted. And that is just what Holliston needed there. He tries to throw up the middle and jumping up and picking it off was Miguel De Jesus. 
Miguel De Jesus picks off the pass, and Holliston had one last opportunity. Kylie out of the gun, takes the snap, hands it off once again, and this time they're ready for him. Harding is going to be stopped for a loss. Backfield takes the snap, and he is in trouble. Went play action, but did not fool the defense, and he's brought down for a loss. Robert Lischer leading the way on the sack. Allison, they need to convert here. Fourth and 10. Kylie takes the snap, rolls to his right, in trouble, throws up the middle, no one's there. A turnover on downs. The Hopkinton defense gets the job done and takes the game in the JV battle, eight to six. Also this past Monday, Hopkinton swimming and dive hit the pool at Milford High School to post results for their meet versus Ashland. Here's a look. Oh gosh, good job. Great job, just a little scary sometimes. <laughs> uh, you parents have nerves of steel. Uh. Alyssa, now Alyssa is uh, swimming for Wheaton next year and she really enjoyed uh, last April, March and April speaking with the coach during COVID. That's when she really got to know the coach of Wheaton and that really helped her make her decision. Beautiful nice. swim by both yeah. Alyssa and Kevin. The result of the meet is to be determined, but good results by the Hillers. This past Tuesday, Hiller girls volleyball took on Medfield. Steve Sweetapple had the call. Little rep with a Ooh. bullet. Oh, <laughs> nice. Gardner tried to duck to let that one go long, but she couldn't get out of the way because the ball was coming so fast. End it, take a break, start all over. Hannah, oh. Millie puts that one deep. Good get from Rachel. Bump set outside, Bub goes deep. Sam gets that one to Rachel, right in the middle for Millie. Just tips it, and that's it. In the first set, Medfield went on a big run towards the end, but the Hillers would hang on to take the set 25 to 20. In the second set, the Hillers came through big. McCarran handles that, Rachel powers. Nice play from Kate. Side out, Hillers, Just set point. Sam, Rachel in the middle, Michaela, nice. Nice swing from Grady, and that's the second set. Hopkinton takes the set 25 to 14. In the third set, Medfield did all they could to keep the match going. Right on the back line, Wagon Seller with a good kill. Great course cross court hit. Kate gets us back underway. It just drops that one over. Beautiful. Whatever it was. And of course, every year we still can't hear it from the stands. Oh, great block. Medfield gets to it. They've got a free ball. Let's see what they do. Kate, Catherine, Millie down the middle. Well done. Sam, Rachel, back set. Dion, that's it. But the Hillers were just too much and took the set 25 to 20 and improved to three wins and one loss on the season.